from the entire kitchen. And today I am going to show you how to make sweet pumpkin bread. So it's a very delicious and nutritious bread, guys. So all ingredients you need are come on, guys. So all ingredients you need are sugar one and a half cup, maida one and a half cup, two eggs. Uh, you will be needing some scrapes or some powder of nutmeg. Then cinnamon powder, one tablespoon, teaspoon. Then you will be needing uh, one fourth cup of water, oil half a cup. You can use olive oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, any kind of oil. Then as far as it doesn't have an aroma. Then uh, we'll be using one cup of pumpkin puree. To know how to make pumpkin puree, you can log into my videos. So guys, then uh, here you have uh, uh, one, one fourth teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, pinch of salt. This will just enhance your cake. Then guys, now we will start with the preparations. Start. So guys, uh, now we will take two eggs. We will crack the two eggs. Be careful that you don't add the shell into it. Then uh, we will be adding the sugar. Oil. Guys, see that you don't waste any ingredients. So, we'll be cleanly putting out all the oil into it. Then, uh, we will disc it nicely till it becomes soft and creamy. So, guys, now we will be adding the salt, baking soda, baking powder, one tablespoon of cinnamon powder. You can add even clove powder, cloves, uh, any spices you like, the flavor of spices you like in it. Then little bit of scraped nutmeg powder. Not make as much as you like. Then we will mix it well. Now gradually we will be adding maida. Don't be in a hurry to overload it as it might create lumps which will become very difficult for you to blend it. So guys, once you feel it become too thick, uh, we will just keep this uh, maida for some time. That's all purpose flour. Uh, we will add the water, the one third cup of water so that it loosens the consistency. Mix well. And again, add the leftover maida. So guys, once you mix all the ingredients, uh, we'll be adding the pumpkin puree. To know how to make pumpkin puree, you can log into my videos where I have showed you how to make pumpkin puree. Now guys, uh, we will mix the pumpkin puree finely with the uh, batter. 
So guys, here I have a grease tray. Uh, you, I have greased it with oil and maida. That's all purpose flour. You can go ahead and use spray also. Or you can use the paper, baking paper. And now we will be pouring this liquid into the container. I'll be just pouring half of it. I'll save the rest half for the next time. So guys, now once we have removed, uh, removed it in the container, we'll be keeping in the microwave. Remember to preheat the microwave before you place the bread into it. So guys, uh, we will keep it for approximately. So guys, uh, uh, I've already preheated the microwave for 200 degrees Celsius for approximately uh, 5 to 10 minutes. After that, I have placed the container of my bread. Now, I will bake it on 180 degree as you can see here guys. I'll bake it for on 180 degree for approximately 35 to 40 minutes depending on the size of your bread and depending on your ovens. Once uh, it is uh, 35 minutes, I'll prick a toothpick and see if it's done. If the toothpick comes out clean, that means my cake has been done. If it's not comes out clean, that means I have to bake for a few more minutes. So now I will bake it for first for 35 minutes. Then we will check. So guys, uh, the timing I have kept 35 minutes. It might differ. Take more time also. We'll check it out later. And the temperature is 180 degree. I have already preheated the microwave on 200 degree before keeping the bread in food. Now we will start. Uh, it took almost one hour, a bit more, for the cake to be done. I mean the bread to be done. See here guys, it's so yummy, yummy. So guys, it took for me uh, more than one hour. Uh, you can go ahead and check out with your oven because it's different from oven to oven. Now we will pick a knife or a toothpick to see if it's done. So guys, we are getting out the clean, clear knife. This means that the cake has been done. Apart from, apart from that guys, I have already uh, took some little batter and made cupcake like buns as you can see here. It looks so lovely and yummy yummy. You can do this also. Now we will be removing this from the uh, container. All what I've got to do is once it cool down, now I'm in a hurry, so I'm just showing showing you in the hot uh, container. But if you are preparing it, please wait for it to cool down as it will be uh, stuck at the bottom while it's hot. Guys, this is my mom's favorite recipe. She prepares this. I learned everything and almost all the things from her itself. I think it's still yet too hot and caught at the bottom, guys. Okay. Now we have got with the lovely bread. Guys, see that you uh, cut it while it's very cold. In the purpose of showing you, I'm cutting it hot, which is very wrong to be done. Your cake will just get uh, into pieces. Now all what you've got to do is we have done with the yummy yummy sweet pumpkin cake. So please guys don't forget to like and subscribe.